Hello everyone, my name is Laura, this is my channel Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's video, which is going to be a pretty sizable book unhaul. Before we get started, I want to remind you to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this kind of content. I post on Sundays and Wednesdays, so I will be having two videos up a week. I also have other bookish social media down below, so if you're interested, go ahead and check me out there. But let's get into this unhaul. One thing I will say is that a lot of these books come from a friend of mine who gets sent a lot of books, and she gets sent books that she is interested in, but not necessarily books that I am interested in. And I visited her once and she like gave me multiple cratefuls of books. And sometimes our interests do align, like she does like some YA and like middle grade that I enjoy. So like I accept these books and I look through them, but a lot of them I'm not actually interested in keeping. I'll have them on my shelf for a little bit in case I change my mind, but really I'm, I'm not interested in reading any of these and they, so they were not sent to me. I don't know what most of these are about. Uh, I, I went through them and I decided I wasn't interested in reading any of them, so I will be getting rid of them. I probably won't be giving too many summaries just because I don't know that much and I'm just not interested. Let's get started. The first book I have up here is called Troublemaker by John Cho. It's written by the actor John Cho, who like I know from Star Trek, and I think he's a great actor, but I don't think this book is intended for me. so. I'm just not interested. Then I have a book called This Book is Feminist. Eh. Uncorrected proof. Don't really care. I have a book here called A Deer in the Life of Death. I think this is a book where someone wrote a poem inspired by an obituary every day of the year. And my friend was like, this is Dark Academia, this is Dark Academia, you'll love it. Um, and then when I actually picked it up, I was like, no. No, it's not. I don't love this. I don't like reading poetry. That is not something I've ever been interested in. So I'm not going to read this. So I'm going to get rid of it. And then next I have Welcome Back Maple Meta Cohen by Kate McGovern. This is, she actually sent me two copies of this book. So we'll stumble upon another copy of this later, but it's just about a girl who like goes to middle school and it's a coming of age kind of growing up but there was really nothing interesting about it nothing unique that really stuck out to me so not gonna read it I have grow up Talia Wilkins also just a book about a girl growing up like I think she like gets her period and like has drama with her parents like every kid and it, I just didn't care mostly the middle grade that I would enjoy to read is going to be like a fantasy middle grade, like something with a magic element. Everything else is just too young for me and I just don't care. Um, I have a book called Sunshine. Uh, this book deals with uh, loss and grief, like a boy loses his mother and now he's like losing his dog or something. I don't like grief based books, they're too emotional for me, I can't handle them so no. Next I have a book called Accidental. And this is by Alex Richard. I am not interested in it. There's nothing grabbing my attention about it. Stack number two, I have Idle Gossip. I think this one is a little more of a YA contemporary romance. I just, again, I think it's me getting older and just kind of seeing a lot of kids' problems as too dramatic or the plots of them just aren't that interesting or well written. I'm just, I'm kind of over YA contemporary a little bit. I have Mercy Suarez Can't Dance. I don't care. It's a whole series, but I don't want any of them, so. I have The Fallen Girls by Hayley Kircher. It's another like middle grade kind of YA contemporary that I'm never gonna read. Here's the other copy of the Welcome Back Maple uh, Maiden Cohen. Not gonna happen. A Woman Is No Man by Edith Rum. I just don't have high expectations for this, or really any expectations. I'm just not going to read it. There's 2020, the year of the asterisk. 
I don't care about reading anything that has to do with 2020. No, I lived through it. I got married in it. I don't care to read about how terrible it was. Even though not all of it was terrible, I don't care. Then I have Sway with me. So this one I'm actually currently reading. I have two copies of it. I have this arc that, again, was not sent to me. This soft cover arc that is an uncorrected proof. And then I have a finished copy of the hardcover. So I'm reading the finished copy of the hardcover. I don't need two copies. No matter if I like the book or not, I don't need two copies of it. Okay, moving on. I have a poetry book that I'm not interested in. Again, I'm not a fan of poetry. I would almost keep it for the cover, except for the fact that I tried to take the sticker off and it will not come off, so it will not stay. There's a book called Talon. It is about dragons and our society and an order that is supposed to go against dragons. And I have already read books like that, and so I don't care to read more. I like dragons, but not the same dragon book over and over again. This next one's a chonker. Uh, it is Imperium. I really don't care. And if I end up in the future thinking, oh, I do want to read this book, I will buy a finished copy or I will get the audiobook because I'm not going to read it right now. Or maybe ever. I have a, sinis a season of sinister dreams. It just did not catch my eye. It has magic and dual POV, but I just am not interested in reading it. It did not sound exciting to me. I have, oh, The Wicked King. So this book, when it was given to me, they thought I would like it because it is a male-male romance, but when I read the description, it's like one of them is hallucinating, so the other decides to encourage it, and they end up just closing themselves off from the world to fulfill a prophecy. And I'm like, that just sounds toxic and bad and not like a relationship I would want to read about whether or not it's gay. So... I'm not interested. I will say the pages are pretty cool because they kind of like dive in. So it could probably be cool, but I'm just, I don't really want to read that. So moving on. The Patron Thief of Bread. This is about this young child who has to decide if they want to be a thief like the group of ragtag kids that raid them raise them, or a baker like their apprenticeship. I don't care. It's not interesting to me. Normally I would love anything that has baking, but this... I couldn't care less. I know, I'm saying like I don't care about all these books, but I don't care to read them. They're not interesting to me. I don't find them fascinating. I have the chosen one, you know, why a contemporary? No. I've got Sing Like No One's Listening, which I, I don't know and no. A book called Mirror Girls. This is not the final cover. It went out pretty much without a cover, um, but it sounds a lot like another book that I've read and so I don't want to read it again. I've got The Dragon Castle. This is about a prince who is like, my parents, the king and queen, are super dumb and don't know how to run a kingdom, so I'm going to be better. And already I don't like that about the protagonist, and if I don't like the protagonist, I'm not going to read it if I don't have to. Um, moving on, final couple books here. I've got The Secret Prince. It's like an Arthurian knightly academic book. I thought I would be interested in it, but then I just never really picked it up, and I no longer want to see it on my shelf because I'm probably not going to pick it up. And the final book that I have is The Court of the Air. It looks really cool, but it's very thick for a book that I don't think I'm going to be super interested in the plot. The synopsis was too detailed and then too vague. Like how it was like these two kids whose family have all been murdered are now running for their lives. But there's this and this and this in it. And I'm like, I don't see how that all connects and I'm not interested in trying to read this like 500 page book for something I'm not actually that interested in. So yeah, those are all the books. It is quite the stack of books. This will be fun trying to bring them anywhere. 
I will most likely put some of them in free little libraries. I might bring some of them to Half Price Books and try and get some money for them. But yeah. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, feel free to comment down below. Do you get rid of books? How do you get rid of books? Do you sell them? Do you donate them? Do you just bring them? I'm always curious to know. I'm always looking for new ways and new places to bring my books. Like I said before, I have bookish social media down below. You can follow me there when I am reading. And feel free to subscribe. I post on Sundays and Wednesdays. So, yeah. Until I see you all in the next one, I wish you happy reading. Thank you.